Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the off-canvas content module. This module lets you add some content outside of the screen area on your website and the content will only be displayed when you click on a certain button or link. First of all, we need to activate this module and we're going to do this by going to Appearance, Team Dashboard and we're going to locate the off-canvas content module and click on Activate. Now we can just click on Customize. We're taken to the settings, so first of all you have to enable it. Then we can select the type of content we want to display, so it's going to be custom content. And we're going to add here HTML or regular text. It can be a sidebar or an elemental template. You can choose the position, top left, right or bottom. And of course you can configure a custom trigger. So by default we have this, Sydney of Canvas Trigger, this is a class, you can notice the dot here, but you can set it to be whatever you need. We have the display conditions, so this, this is useful in case you don't need to display the of Canvas content on every page of your website, you just click here and select where you want to show it. And of course we have the styling options right here. This lets you set, set the width, the padding, or various color options. First of all, let's use the custom content option. We're just going to add some text here. We're going to copy this class without the dot. Click to enable. Publish the changes. Now we go back to your backend. Appearance menus, for example. Or wherever else you need to display the the trigger. So let's say I'm going to go to screen options, enable CSS classes here, and let's say I want the about uh, item to open, uh, to act as a trigger and open the off canvas content. So I'm just going to paste the class here, Sydney of canvas trigger, save the menu. Now when I go to the front end, if I click on about, you can see the content opening up here. Let's go back to the customizer. Refresh it. Okay, so if you click on about, the content opens up. You can see if you want to display it at the top, the bottom, left, and of course right, which is the default. You can change the width, like this. The padding. I can choose sidebar here. I'm going to select the sidebar that I want to display. There it is. And of course I can show an element of template. I'm going to go back to the backend. From Elementor's templates interface, I'm just going to add a new one. Give it a name like this. So I'm just going to just add a heading, a text, that's it, just publish this one, go back to the customizer, publish my changes and refresh so I have access to the new, uh, to the new template inside my list. Okay, so I'm going to select it, here it is, my off canvas template which I created previously. So now if I click about, you can see the elemental content right here. Of course this can be useful for a variety of scenarios. You can display for example some contact info here, or whatever else you need. The last thing I want to show you is that you can add this class to whatever button or link you want and make it as, act as a trigger. So I'm just going to publish this and go to this elemental page. I'm going to drop a button here. 
go to advanced css classes and simply place place a sydney of canvas trigger here if i go to the front end just click on it and here it is that's it thank you for watching